Hi, I'm Jennifer Johnson. I'm a lecturer in the program in writing and rhetoric here at Stanford. What I like about Canvas is its ability to facilitate a space for more engagement with students, both instructors and students, and also student-to-student -student interaction. First and foremost, uh, I use it as a central communication hub, if you will. Not only do students upload uh, their assignments there, but also I take attendance there, I look at papers there, I send announcements there, so everything is done in one place. So students know where to go to look if they forgot what the announcement was, students know to go look where the reading was for that week, everything is in one place. The second thing that's really neat about Canvas is the collaborative aspect of it. It really um, offers a couple different spaces, the peer review space, the wiki page space, the sweet C space. All of those are tools that allow students to engage um, with each other, as well as teachers to also participate in that collaborative effort. And I think it's really important, especially in a, in a writing class, to really understand your audience and to have access to that audience through various tools outside of class. So the classroom doesn't just end with the four walls, it, it, it extends outside of the class. And that's the real, real neat thing about Canvas is, is creating a, a learning space outside of class where students continue to engage with each other and teachers also get to be part of that process. Canvas has this really neat peer review function when you set up an assignment and you can create groups of students that, that review each other's work, comment on each other's work. Teachers can then also participate in that commenting process. So it's kind of like a meta discussion on top of the discussion. And furthermore, I can review progress in students to the various drafts that they upload. Um, I can look at their peer review draft, their instructor review draft, and a final draft, all side by side with different tabs open. So it's like I have three stacks of papers, but really I just have three tabs open. One of the features I really love about Canvas is the speed grader. So the speed grader acts as like a stack of papers. And instead of flipping through and writing comments now, um, I can actually just flip through and type out comments, both in-text comments, as well as provide them with a reflective longer comment at the end. Um, students can then respond back to me within that page. So what's nice is that I can always refer back to their progress. You know, in the old days, we used to just pass back the drafts, and we would never see them again. Now you actually get to hold on to that, hold on to your comments, but also their reflections on your comments, which I find really helpful. So I make them do an action plan of like, okay, so now you have all these comments. What are you going to do with? What are you going to do with these comments? What's your next step? And right in that comment box, they they actually make their action plan right there. So that's a really nice feature because it keeps you um, engaged with the progress in learning, not just seeing each individual assignment as just turned in and passed back. Well, Sweet C has got this really neat uh, new function called the Asset Library, which allows both students and instructors to share external resources, uh, links, images, and so forth inside of Canvas. So it could be on a topic that you're working on, a course theme, or something like that. But what's neat about it is they can like and leave comments similar to social media functions. And also it provides a great gallery space for sharing student work. So students could go through and see each other's work, what they're, what they're working on, their research questions, they could like them, they could offer feedback. But this could all be done in one centralized place across all students, all students would have access. I have some advice for uh, instructors just getting started with Canvas. First, you wanna kind of populate all your files, get all your information arranged in files so that you can hyperlink within the assignments and within the announcements. The overall goal of Canvas, what I find really appealing, is that you never have to actually ask students to go hunt for stuff in files. So whenever you send out an announcement, it appears and pops up as a PDF for them because you've hyperlinked it. And similarly, when you create an assignment, it also gets hyperlinked to that assignment sheet or the reading that's due, for example. For instructors just getting started, there's a lot of resources and support out there for you. The one that I use quite a bit is the help function within Canvas. The best thing about the this Canvas support here on campus is not only do they have office hours, but they will come to your office and help you hands-on, one-on-one. So if you're just getting started, make sure you make use of all those resources here at the Stanford campus. Mm -hmm.